Hello, I'm Bruce Yaney, and today in Who Made Science, I want to see if I can reproduce the miracle of the sieve. Now, we'll start off by testing some materials that might have been available in ancient times, and then we'll go on and test some materials that are a little bit more modern. <laughs> the basis for our experiment begins with the story of the Vestal Virgins of ancient Rome. These were girls that were chosen to serve in the Temple of Vesta, the goddess of hearth and home. It was a hard life, and the girls were to remain pure until the age of 40. Breaking their vows could result in severe punishment, even death by being buried alive. According to Roman history, the Vestal Virgin Tuccia was accused of breaking her vows of chastity. She could prove her innocence if she was able to carry a sieve full of water from the river Tiber to the temple. History from that time says she was successful. Since then, her success has led to being immortalized as a symbol of chastity and purity honored in paintings, statues, even tattoos. So how did she do it? Her results might have been due to the unique properties of water. Her success would also depend on the sieve itself. The one depicted by this artist would have had very little chance of success. With large holes, water is going to pour right through it unimpeded. So for this to work, the holes would obviously have to be much smaller, but any of the materials available at that time would be hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means that the water molecules are attracted to the surface. Water on these types of surfaces will appear to make the surface wet. To be successful, Tachia could coat the surface and change it from hydrophilic to hydrophobic. Hydrophobic means there's no attraction between the water molecules and the surface that it's on. So the attraction of the water molecules to each other would keep it from going through the sieve. To make a surface hydrophobic, you could cover it with wax. Oils and grease are very hydrophobic. Animal fats called lipids are extremely hydrophobic. You could even coat a surface with carbon black from a burning candle. Now let's try a few examples. This is what a sieve might have looked like. So here's my version of it. To make it hydrophobic, I've given it a thin coating of wax. All right, time to test it with water. I think the gaps are just too big. Let's go on and try another one. This artist gave Tuchia's sieve a simple tight weave with flat reeds. I think this matches that design. Now let's test it with water. Well, it certainly acts like a sieve. I think with this piece, I'm gonna coat it with fat that I've collected from cooking bacon. I think that works. <laughs> no water on the paper. Let's try a little bit more. Wow, uh, I got a drop through. But overall, I would say that's pretty successful. I'm really impressed with this. This has been sitting for about a half hour and it's still not leaking. Another possibility for this sieve might have used cloth as a straining material. Water passes right through it. This one I'll give a light coating of olive oil. Oh, that, nothing, nothing's coming through it. In 
the 1500s, Queen Elizabeth had her portrait drawn with her holding a sieve. It was to symbolize her purity. This version of the sieve seems to have extremely small holes. I think I can make a sieve similar to the Queen's using a pie pan and putting holes in it with a push pin. Now since the carbon black works so well in this aluminum foil, I think I'm going to go ahead and try it on this pie pan. Well, this has a lot more holes than the Queen's. I think I got a little carried away. That is definitely hydrophobic behavior. Now, I don't think the wax got a fair try the last time, so I'm going to try it again, this time with a finer mesh. I'll use a hairdryer to heat the wax and apply a fine coating to it. Okay, it looks like the wax is working. All right, we have no leaks. So I'm gonna try and walk with this for a little bit. And in doing so, I'm gonna to have to keep this level. Okay, well I'm back from my walk, and I still have water in my sieve here. I think we did pretty well. Now why was it so important to keep it level? Well, if it's on an angle, it gets too deep, and then it'll start to leak. Now of course when Tachia got her sieve back to the temple, the officials would want to take a look at it. They'd want to make sure that she indeed did use a sieve. Now she could make this leak water simply by touching the bottom of it, which would then attract the water. And then once that happens, it's gonna start leaking. So the hand's attracting the water through the screen, and once it starts leaking, that stream pulls the rest of the water through it. Now something else I could have helped her was knowing how much water she could add to this and how to add it. I'm gonna put this piece of aluminum foil and add water to hit that rather than the screen itself, and it works perfectly fine. If I didn't use this, well, let's see what happens. The water passes right through it. It hits with enough force that the surface tension can't hold it in place. Shaking the sieve will also cause the water to pass through it. And finally, which one gave me the best result? The cloth and the reeds held about a quarter of an inch of water. The wax on a metal mesh gave me about a half an inch of water before it leaked. My winner was a sieve made out of a pie pan with soot on it. That got better than three quarters of an inch of water before it started to leak. Now you could easily investigate some of these yourself by making a sieve out of aluminum foil, pie pans, or you can even purchase these strainers at any food store. Untreated. Water simply passes right through them. You could try some of the materials that were tested here. For example, this one was coated with wax. Well, it looks like it works pretty good. And let's see if I touch the bottom. Oh, oh there it goes, it leaks. I'll try covering this one with a black soot. I coated this strainer with a water repellent that sold commercially. In this investigation, I only tested a few combinations. I'm sure there's other ones that would work even better. We'll never really know how Tucci actually achieved her miracle, but when I look at this picture of her, it appears to me that the artist gave her a mischievous smile. Perhaps for a good reason. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please check out the other science videos or even the shorts. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Okay, bye.